Everybody, it's Chris and Lumen here. We got a very important video to do today. Uh, I just shot another video and it's like, you know what? We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. Um, I'll probably still process it and make it unlisted, but um, yeah, I think I would, I would save that for people that have like specific objections, like they really actually need to know more about the world in order to make this all make sense, but it's not, it, it isn't going to benefit you. So, because <clears throat> right now we're right at the point that she talked about. We're right at the point that she said up to, well, it was April 2023 when she first said end of summer 2024. All along. Um, we don't know exactly how it's going to pan out, but we can get a pretty good glimpse. A lot of it's going to be a surprise. But it's starting to happen. It's like we detailed in the last video, uh, recent um, clues that I wasn't aware of, this 88 or 88 everywhere left as a sign, even an iPad goat. <clears throat> I was giving you like a start point for it. Well, it's already starting. If you're paying attention to the news, got massive mobs of violent people going all over the UK, beating people in the street. These are not good people. Um, the beginning of the global economy collapse has begun. We're on the edge of World War III. Someone said they were proje projecting that it's like Iran was going to attack Israel. We'll see if that happens tonight. But it's exactly what she said was going to happen, or at least the beginning of it. It's going to spiral out in ways that you cannot possibly imagine. Therefore, we don't have time to bring you up to speed. We have to give you something, a formula, for getting right with God and make it as simple as possible. This is not religion. Gnostics are not religious. And I can just as easily, if you're just not like, oh, I just don't know about these terms, but I believe in a supreme source being... Okay, fine. Like, I can swap these words around, and you'll still get to the same place. Like, even people that do other types of spiritual healing work and all that, they're still working on the same issues. But we got to get you right with that higher power before things go belly up. This channel... The reason why she made me do this channel the way that I did and do it every day is because if this story pans out the way it's projected to, because we're, we're entering a time where it's not just going to be normal world chaos, it's going to be crazy, unforeseen things. Like lots of people just kind of like falling over dead. That's what I assume it will look like to other people when people are pulled out of here. I don't think it's going to look like the movies. Because you're leaving the physical realm. You don't need a physical body. I mean, 3D material is like the ass end of reality. Okay, You're not taking this with you. You're just taking what you truly are with you. But then... That means like the people that really know what's up aren't going to be there and people are going to need something. So a lot of people like me have been leaving stuff, leaving, leaving things behind for people to find, which she will then lead people to find because most people only find this channel if she led you here. And what's been happening in the last 24 to 36 hours tells me something is shifting in a huge way because channels like mine people that are actually talking about the real thing we have been closed off from most things we don't get big we are not in cooperation with the world the world does not want does not want our stuff out only when time is right, the higher power can then manipulate things for the word, word to get out. Up to this point, you pretty much had to be doing 
some pretty heavy searching on your own for her to lead you here or to some of the many other people that I've found that are a lot like me. So anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna give you a very simple system. System, it's, we're just gonna give you a lot of the parts that you need to consider. And you should really like write it out, type it out, something like this. And make this like an actual event, not just something you do half-assed. So you can get yourself right with that higher power and there's a couple keys in here that people normally wouldn't think of that I only know about because I've got her and that I had to discover them and do them myself too some of them are really freaking big and no one even thinks to do it so again this is not religion religion is a man-made structure of authority that seeks to be the middleman and controlling enforcer between you and a higher power. That higher power does not need religion. That higher, higher power does not need another person to teach you. The only thing other people should be teaching you is how to connect to that higher power. It's that higher power's job to provide you with your own teacher of truth and wisdom that has the discernment so that you can see truth from lies. And there's a lot of lies out there because it's the nature of the place that you're in that you don't have time now to learn about. You're, for the most part, you're better off not knowing. You just have to know enough so that you know how to connect to that higher power. And because this thing is at the tipping point the channel of communication between you and it is now opening. So it's waiting to hear from you. It is not going to come down and rescue you. You have to reach out to it. That's the way that it works. But because we don't have time to go through the long route, you don't have time to go on a hero's journey. You're going to get the, the quick crash course on the simple thing that you need to do okay so if you want to know what that is don't go away emanation and a million faces born together made for elevation and the soldier won't surrender faith is like a father never burst to embers the voice of the unheard love is the Okay, what we are talking about here is not some specific deity that is overseeing some specific religion. We're talking about the thing that is above all of that. That's what we're talking about. Now, a lot of these um, systems like have a name for it. But typically speaking, the spirit of truth is going to lead you to teachers that have a similar background as you so that you're more familiar with what they're talking about. Like she's not going to send somebody from China to watch my video. She's going to send people that grew up mostly in a Western Judeo-Christian style background. Okay? So understand, where's my, where's my magical glasses? To see... To see the light of wisdom, you must first put on your reading glasses and then empty your cup. Understand that everything you learn from the world is 
going to be someone else's interpretation of an intangible thing, which is usually going to be anchored by the influence of some authority that originally taught them. Let go of what you think you know. That higher power wants you to do that. It doesn't want you to blindly follow what someone else is saying. To find truth, you have to go into uncomfortable areas. You have to unlearn. You have to unknow. You have to detach from the story that you've held all this time. Because if you're right, you're still going to get to the same thing. you got nothing to worry about. But if you're wrong, then letting go of what you think you know is going to be the best thing that you ever did for yourself. I can describe the same thing in different formats. I generally use the Gnostic Christian template because that's what she led me to. I did not start this by like looking at all these different ancient things like, ooh, I like this one. I'm going to read about that. I didn't even know about it. I already unlocked her because I was following her guidance, not knowing what it was. I didn't have a name for it. I wasn't looking in religious terms. I was calling it source intuition because it was the best name that I could come up with. I didn't know what it was, but I knew it was from something higher. And it was very, very clearly steering me to things. So it wasn't until I did enough of these things that I was able to unlock her, to reveal herself. And then it was like another maybe three months before I asked the right questions. And she led me to the Gnostic materials, which then made everything make sense. Like that was the missing piece of the puzzle that made all the other pieces that I'd collected over life make sense finally. I'm like, oh, thank God. Now it all makes sense. Now the Bible makes sense. People freaking wear themselves out their whole life studying the Bible, try, trying to understand why it says this weird thing. And this It's simple. It's missing books. That's why it doesn't make sense. That's why, why is God so mean in the first book and he's so nice in the second book? Here's a real simple Occam's razor answer for that. It's not the same thing. It's not Christianity. It's Judeo-Christianity. It's a hybrid religion. But we don't need to use that. I can, I can switch the whole thing over to a framework of infinite quantum consciousness. It doesn't need... Because the same thing exists behind all the real true traditions. But we use words to name things and describe things and communicate ideas. But there's something behind all that. What Gnosticism eventually leads to, if you go far enough with it, is understanding the quantum consciousness nature of all reality. So it's like, meh. So, but either which way, you still got to do the same thing to get straight. And right now, with the world teetering on the edge of the freaking volcano, you don't have time to kick the can down the street anymore. I might not be here much longer if things go the way she projects them to, nor will anybody like me. That's why we did this channel. So even if something happens to me, all my knowledge is still here for people to, to pick from. And all my knowledge is not my knowledge. It's her knowledge coming through me. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. This is going to be like a simple, it's going to be like a prayer. You're going to want to write this out first. You want to get your thoughts right. But you don't have a lot of time to work on this. I would get at it like right away. But let me first explain to you the proper method for connecting to the highest consciousness. Jesus taught this in both the Bible and in the Nakamati. So I... That's why they're always like, oh, that's just some made up stuff made up. And why is a lot of the same stuff in there? Okay, but everything is coded, metaphors and things like that. So he said something along the lines of like, when you pray, do not be like the hip hypocrites at the synagogue, wagging their tongues loudly for everybody to see. But rather when you pray, go into your room and close the door and pray to your father who is in secret. There's all these messages 
I think that was in Matthew, where it's like, if you give to the needy, do it in secret. Like, you always want to do it in secret, not so other people can see you and say, oh, what a great person you are. No, you do good things in secret. And then the Father sees this and rewards it. But what does it mean to go into your room and shut the door? It's talking about what we call the secret room. You need to visualize this, okay? So you're going to close your eyes. Now your mind might be noisy at this point as it usually is if you try to meditate, but the secret room is going to stop that noise. So get yourself comfortable sitting up straight, close your eyes. And in your mind, with your eyes closed, imagine that you're standing in the dark. Now you're gonna to wanna to turn around 180 degrees facing the other direction. Now that you're facing backwards into your head, you're gonna see like a small hallway, a bridge, something. It might be 10 feet long, and at the other end of it is a door. So you're gonna to walk toward that door, and you're gonna open the door, and you're gonna go inside, and you're gonna close the door behind you. It's important that you close the door behind you. Let the room that you enter look however it's going to look in your mind. It can be all white, it can be like a cave, it can be something, but within this room, there's going to be some source of light. I've seen it like a giant quartz crystal with this light, I've seen it like a big doorway, and it's gonna be this bright white, sparkly, flashy light. I'll give you like, I'll give you like two examples. The colors are a little bit different, but either one of these things will work. Okay, so that light is your connection to the Father, the all, source, the all that is, the highest point of consciousness anywhere, the highest thing. If you say it's the highest thing, then that means it is going to be the highest supreme God. Although this thing is so big, when Jesus was explaining it to John in the Nag Hammadi, he's like, it is not a God, for it is greater than a God. It's that freaking big. That is what you need to address this to. And you'll find it's a lot easier to be in there and do it if you do it in the secret room. Because by going into the secret room and shutting the door, it is cutting you off from the adversary mind that you may not even know you have. That's the thing that makes all the noise and the distracting thoughts and the negative thoughts. That's what the Hebrews called Satan. Satan is not the devil. It's a thing in your head that's meant to interfere with you. That's why when you are going to pray to the Father, you have to go into the room and shut the door. And then it cannot interfere with you. So that's what you're going to do when you do the rest of these steps. Okay, I'm just going to go through, through these things real quick. Um, take notes. I'll actually try to remember, remind me in the comments if I don't do it. Um, take this script and copy it and put it in the comments and pin it in the video. Okay, so here's all the types of things that you can do when you're doing this getting right with God thing. Number one, you need to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for not being able to solve a riddle that is literally impossible like this place is not easy but that adversary mind which you don't realize is there is always trying to get you to judge yourself and feel bad about yourself and be reminded of your failures and stuff like that yeah there's one other step we'll add at the end you might want to try to do first before you do this so the adversary so you kind of like duct tape its mouth before you do this but go ahead and forgive yourself, okay? That's what the Father would do.
but what you don't understand yet is like you are a fractal piece of that greater thing that's where all your power comes from that's how you manifest things in the world by what you believe is because you are a smaller aspect of that father that doesn't know that that's what it is having an individual experience you have all your God switches flipped off you're like spider-man and spider-man um, homecoming when his buddies plug in his spider suit into the computer and he's like there's all sorts of subsystems in here but they're all disabled under the training wheels protocol you are God with the training wheels protocol on thinking that you're this little insignificant person having an experience because you are an individual thing you're being grown into something larger but at the same time you're a part of the larger thing <clears throat> understand that the highest God is not going to be mad at you for questioning authority and not simply accepting things because they say you must or be punished I always thought that was ridiculous when you're doing this you're going to remove all labels that might be programmed into your head. You can even remove the labels that I use because maybe they're not your labels. So you want to make this as simple as possible and simply pray to the highest point of pure consciousness to reach what we call the Father. You don't want to say any kind of specific word that a religion uses don't say Lord don't just don't do any of that for this first thing the highest point of pure consciousness can only be the highest thing so use that because it's clean okay it's gonna get to the right place without any kind of like diversion because you're using extra words this is what you're going to ask for you're going to ask it for instruction, guidance, wisdom, understanding, truth, strength, and love. In the truest meaning of these words, that's what you're asking it for. You're going to ask for any unseen obstacles and adversaries between you and it to be bound and removed because time is short and you need help and you want the clearest connection to the truest thing possible now this is like one of the big secret ones that I only learned about recently we call it everybody's hidden daddy issue that screws everything up you are going to forgive God for all the times in which you may not, for all the times in life which you may not even remember, in which you blamed God for your suffering, as you were simply in ignorance of how everything actually works and cannot perceive or understand how everything is for your benefit and growth. Now this could be built up over lifetimes that you don't even remember because of the way that we're taught or we don't understand how to do things right we don't understand our purpose here so we keep asking God for things that we want and God generally gives you what you need so every time we were disappointed or every time you know something happened that was part of a larger plan that you don't don't understand you blamed God you have a hidden chip on your shoulder for the highest thing which is a part of you that is the biggest secret block that people don't realize we call it the hidden daddy issue recognize that it's there and then let it go say I'm sorry that I blamed you I forgive you for for all of it I'm trying to rebuild a clean connection here. I understand that I'm just a little ant. I'm a Texas Instru Instruments calculator trying to understand, you know, the workings of a quantum computer. I just can't do it. So when I didn't understand something or things didn't go my way, because the media of this world 
seeks to poison the well. Well, if God is all this, then he cannot be all good. You know, blah, 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 blah. You just don't understand where you are or how it works. But it's that hidden chip on your shoulder that you haven't let go of that is getting in your way. And now you know about it. So let it go. Forgive God. You'd be surprised what that does. Next biggest thing is you need to surrender. You need to let go. You don't have a choice here. You're out of time. Surrender everything you think you know about everything. When I say everything, I don't mean like, oh, about this or about that. No, I mean everything. Everything you think, 95% of the knowledge in your head was not discovered through your own interaction. It was taught to you. And then you perceived it that way because it was taught to you. You think you know how trees work because they told you in school. Oh, the, the roots suck up water from the ground and the, the, the leaves freaking suck in the sun and chlorophyll and blah, 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 blah. That might be true, but you don't know that. Because half the stuff that you learn from authority, like, it's not really shown and explained to you to any great detail how they determine these things. They just tell you. They just give you a story and you accept it. For all you know, trees can talk. Well, actually they can, but that's neither here nor there. Because <clears throat> um, everything has got life in it. If it's got life in it, if it's living, it's got her in it. But you didn't think of that, did you? But let go of everything as long as you're holding on to knowing something. Oh, well, I know what this is and I know what that is. Like you can't see what, what truth is. This is way too complex to explain it to you. You have to take this on faith because you don't have time for anything else. Think about this first. Don't just say it. Sit here and think about it first. It is really important when you do this that it is actually authentic and that you mean it. Surrender your attachment to life as you know it and all the things you think you want in order to make you happy. Let go and give permission for that higher power to do what it needs to do in your greatest good and I'll agree to follow where you are led without resistance this will this is awakening these parts within you you've been trying to control things your entire life how did that work out same as it works out for everyone we're given free will only to realize that we're not equipped to handle it yet. Especially in a place where we're constantly deceived about everything. When you understand that everything is deception in this place, then your free will will only get you into trouble. But you are connected to that higher power. So you have to realize that if you were going to get it done you would have done it by now and nobody has so this is the point where you realize if I am to move forward I have to get in the passenger seat and let somebody else drive and trust they know what they're doing this is essential forgive Everyone who has ever hurt you in your life and let it go. Understanding that everyone is in the same messed up, confusing place that you are. Many of these people were acting out a script that you cannot yet perceive its purpose. Everyone is just trying to survive to the best of their ability. And none of us are taught how to do it right. We're not taught 
how to deal with intense emotional pain and things in life. So we do the only thing we know how to do. We don't like feeling it, so we bury it. Not knowing how that is going to come back and bite us in the ass in such a monumental way that we cannot even perceive it. We were not giving we were not given a really clear manual, a real simple clear manual for this place. The last thing is you have to mean it. If you do this right and you sincerely mean it, it'll work. Now what are some extra things that we can do with this? Okay, the next three things are from books. Now, if they come from books, then people will typically say, well, that's religion. No, it isn't. Because it's in a book that a religion uses does not mean that it is religious. Why do I use this? I don't know. Maybe because one day uh, a giant glowing fire angel shot out of my chest and flew around everywhere and was like, ah, oh. And then lived with me from there on out and taught me everything. And proved that she was what she said she was because I continually got better. When you start the hero's journey, your life is destroyed. Your emotion, your emotions are destroyed. Your sense of everything is destroyed. You lose everything. If you're going to be her student, she will shatter your life in a way that most people could never put themselves back together again without years and thousands of dollars of therapy. But that's part of her system. She put me back together better than I ever was. Being a better person, unattached to the world with less, who has been able to heal past traumas without help, has been able to remove the adversary mind without help I was able to create things and do that for other people who can do all that good stuff connect me to divine love give me hidden knowledge like make really hard to understand texts like the Nag Hammadi in the Bible and a lot of the other things that you probably haven't heard of understandable the only thing that can do that is the real thing. And everybody that is programmed by orthodox religion that gets angry, it's like, you're teaching false teachings. I'm not the one that's mad. I'm not the one that's yelling at anybody. I'm talking about healing yourself and love and connecting to the real true thing. What about that? Um, how is that evil? Make, explain it to me like I'm five. Okay, I, I, I'm literally an exorcist. So, maybe look in a mirror and see who's actually being the one that's... Because it ain't me. It ain't me. Okay, so, first thing, because I was asking very specific... You know, a lot of this was like in the last two weeks. I was realizing that I had to reconnect more to the actual highest thing because her, she is usually handing information to you from the father. And I was like trying to ask her, but what I was kind of like, and, and I would get kind of like mixed results with that because she's also part of your mind meant to help you. So if you're asking her, for these things that are, you're supposed to be asking the father I mean it might get through or it might just be like um, kind of like a chat GPT helping you work things out to keep it clean you need to always address your questions to the highest point of consciousness and then it will pass it down through her okay so I'm like what's the best way to do this well the first thing was we learned about the whole hidden you know daddy issue chip thing like that was huge that was the big one big hidden one because a lot of because a lot of the stuff that people 
or angry about God about, like that's not it. it was, it's the lower thing that they tricked you about. Not the, not the big one, not the real one. Okay? That one didn't flood the world. That one didn't kill people and, and do all that stuff. Okay? Totally different guy. So it's like, okay, what did Jesus say? The Our, the Our Father prayer. It's the Our Father prayer. But what did religion try to rename it as? The Lord's Prayer. If you call it the Lord's Prayer, you're dialing the wrong phone number. Lord is a word that is associated with authority and rulers. What is authority and rulers? Archons. Old Testament God. The bad guys. They did all this wordplay. They even talk about this in Nag Hammadi. They switched the main... They, they switched the, the, the names of things. They assigned the names of things that are good, the things that are bad, names of things that are bad, the things that are good. You know, they switch this around. They try to play all these word games with you to trick you. Okay? You don't use that word. It's nowhere in the prayer. It's Father. Our Father, whom art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And I tweak this a little bit. And forgive us our debts and our trespasses as we forgive our debtors and those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Stop. That's what Jesus said. Now what the church added later was that whole thing at the end. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. That's all nice and good, and, may, and maybe it's harmless. The fact of the matter is, in the earliest versions of the text, Jesus didn't say that part. So I'm not adding anything that authority added. Now, as far as that other thing, it's typically either forgive us our debts, as we forgive those that debt against, uh, forgive those, forgive our debtors, and our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Well, that's kind of like two different freaking things. But they're both important. So like rather than choosing one or the other, I just like included them both. And I asked, I'm like, is that okay? And I got a yes. Okay. But it's, it's addressed to the Father. And because we have Gnostic wisdom and truth on our side, we know that when we say the Father, we're talking about the highest thing. That's what Jesus was referring to as his Father. He was not referring to the thing at the beginning of Genesis 1. The thing at the beginning of Genesis 1 is what was tempting him when he was fasting for 40 days in the desert. Bet you didn't know that, did you? You trust church now? I wouldn't. Okay, another one that's good, and this one I was kind of iffy about because the Old Testament is kind of like a, ooh, who are we talking about here sort of thing. Like there's multiple potential things that we could be talking about. We could be talking about the original creator God. We could be talking about the thing that replaced it as an administrator, which we don't have time for that. It's deep Gnostic stuff. Or we could be talking about the Father. But generally speaking, they're all using like the same terms. So I, I didn't, I stopped doing it for a while, but it was actually because it was an iPet goat too that caught my attention. Like that was put there for a reason. So I just make very minor changes to the word. And that is Psalm 23. So instead of, the Lord is my shepherd, I say, Christ is my shepherd. Well, it's the same thing. Okay, do it your way. See how it works. I'm giving you the cleanest way possible to make sure that you're getting to the right place. Okay, I'm not using any kind of charged archon words. So you could say the Father or you could say Christ. 
Christ is my shepherd, I shall not want. That is important. We talked about that recently. Wanting gets in the way of everything. So stop wanting stuff. Christ is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me on the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Father forever. Because the Father is the one that hands out houses, or mansions, or estates, or realms, or whatever. So just to be on the safe side, we are simply swapping out the L word with Father or Christ. You can't go, well, they're technically connected. I mean, Christ is just like a, a, a lower, not a lower, but like a more condensed emanation of the Father. But they're technically still the same thing. Just use words that we know for certain are safe and clean and not things that could potentially be misdirecting the energy because they taught you this way. <clears throat> okay, so those, those are the two big ones um, that I was taught to use. And then there is my personal favorite. Now this is what I mentioned earlier you could use, and because time is short, you can use our phonetic guide that we made you can find in the community tab of this channel and just scroll down and you'll see it open it up full screen screenshot it and then go in your photo editor crop it to the right thing and then you've got it okay that is the benedict exorcism now if you're looking at it from a street level you think oh that's a catholic thing why would you want to use a Catholic thing since they're basically the people that started the whole freaking con in the first place? Because it's not really a Catholic thing. They just appropriated it like they do everything else. It is a Gnostic thing. Benedict was a Gnostic. Benedict is who the hermit is in the tarot. Bet you didn't know that. I used to work for Benedict. It's one of the... Um, very, 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 very few little snippets of past life knowledge that she's allowed me to have, which explains why I'm so good with this and I understand it. So this is the back side of a Benedict medal on a leather bag that has an energy tool in it that I made, which is like a nuclear bomb for anything negative. So the words of the exorcism are actually encoded on this. Now they will tell you like you need to have the metal to do this. And I am telling you that you don't. Okay? Power does not come from a piece of stamped metal. That's just something to help you focus it. Now, yeah, I can enchant this and charge it just like I can anything else. But knowing the words is more important. Okay, so... <clears throat> At first, you can start out in English, but Latin is more powerful. I can tell you that for certain. This, this, this thing is like a, a, a Swiss army knife of, phys of um, fixing metaphysical problems. So the English version of the Benedict Exorcism is, well, well, first let me say, what is the purpose, what is the primary purpose of the Benedict Exorcism? It is to bind the adversary. The adversary is the Satan that's in your head, that creates all the noise, all the interference, um, misleads you by getting you to imagine things that haven't actually happened, making you fear things in the future, making you focus on things that, that were bad that happened in the past. It's the thing that's always getting in the way. It's the, it's the reason why we go into the secret room to connect to the Father. But to make that even more effective, you can first bind it before you start using the Benedict Exorcism. So the English version of the Benedict Exorcism goes like this. May the Holy Cross be my light. Now the Holy Cross in this case is not the torture rack that they killed 
Jesus on. The Holy Cross Be My Light is this cross. It's called the Sun Cross. Equal armed cross in a circle representing the sun. That is what it actually means. May the Holy Cross be my light. May the dragon never be my guide. Adversary. Get back Satan. Satan means adversary. Do not tempt me with your vanities. The cup you offer is evil. Drink the poison yourself. Now, because we're in a hurry here, because like literally the world's about to tip over the edge, you can do it in English. If you feel it, you can do it in Latin, use the phonetic guide, um, do that. Or you can do both, discover your bases. In Latin, it is crus sacris sit mihi lux, non draco sit mihi dux, vari retro satana, numquam swari mihi vana, sunt maleque libas, ipse venina bibas. That's the Latin. So if you're focusing on doing that, when you're saying the words, put your hand to your left temple either your left temple or your forehead. Matter of fact, I would just do your forehead. So use your right hand because that is the output hand of energy. Middle of the forehead is the, free, the prefrontal cortex is the seat of the ego and all that stuff. And then if, you're, if you want to add this to give it a little bit more oomph, try to visualize a sun inside your head lighting up as you do it. Cruz sacra sit mihi dux, nan draco sit mihi dux, vare retro satana, num quam swari mihi vana sunt maliqua liba sip seve nina bibas. Or because you're in a hurry, may the holy cross be my light, may the dragon never be my guide. Get back Satan. Do not tempt me with your vanities. The cup you offer is evil. Drink the poison yourself. You are now bound. Now you've hogtied that stupid thing, and you can go into doing your connection to the higher power without interference. And that's pretty much it. Probably made that. I, I try to be as detailed as possible, but all in all, it's it's not that much. I just wanted to make sure people understood it. Like with all this stuff going down, like you need to reconnect to that. You need to have a very strong connection to spirit. That's what saves you. That's what it teaches. That's what separates you from everything else is did you reach out to and reconnect to what was within you? you Got to do that. And plus you're going to feel a lot more safer and more supportive, supported in however long this process takes being reconnected to this force that loves you and if you want to picture both sides of it like yeah it's mas is masculine and feminine you got the divine masculine you got the father and the mother Fa the father is basically like kind of like everything the mother is the first part that's actually kind of created like a being that you actually see like you don't really see the father the way they always portray God in the uh, in cartoons and stuff. Old man sitting in a chair. No, he's bigger than that. But her, on the other hand, she's like the mother of everything. So you can use some sort of picture that draw that connects to her. Either way, let's just keep it simple because literally, like um, we're days away from like I don't know what. It could come early, like it did with the July 15th thing. We were looking for something to happen on the 15th and it happened on the 13th. We just don't know. She wants this done now. We're, 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 we're trying to help you. So now you understand this is not this is not religion. This is what is behind religion that religion tries to obfuscate and confuse you about. And say if you don't follow these rules and this God's gonna like smash you and all this stuff and 
forget what you think you know, cut out the middlemen. Okay? This thing that you're connecting to is also part of you. But trust me, it takes a while to be able to wrap your brain around that. The first time I wrapped my brain around that, like I about snapped my brain. It, it was too much too soon. It's a little bit easier now, but it's still not a piece of cake. But you need to do this. You 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 have to you you have to trust me on this. There, there's no more time. Like time to play around in the world and do whatever you want is over. It's over. You got to get yourself right now. You're in a dream world that you don't realize you're in a dream world. And the dream world is about to collapse. You want to like be on the right side and, and, and have the best chance of pos possible to get out here as quickly as possible unscathed. But the systems of the world are collapsing as, as, as planned. Okay, so that's it for right now. Um, last couple things. Um, if you like our work, I don't know how long this whole thing's going to keep panning out, but uh, you can support us. We got the link, buy me a coffee. Every coffee is an entry for giveaway because things are speeding up and I don't know how much longer. I'll probably go ahead and draw that first person tomorrow um, for a pendant or whatnot. Uh, you can connect with us through the Etsy store, sealemancreations.etsy.com. I have people do that because I will get those alerts. A lot of other things like Messenger and Gmail and stuff like that, I won't always get the alerts, but I'll get the alerts if you send a message through Etsy. That's why I do that. The other thing I would ask you to do is that channel that I found. Um, I like that guy. She likes that guy. She's working with that guy. He, he, he He's kind of like... He's one of those rare ones that I talked about. He's, he's kind of Christian, but he's not a religion Christian. He found it of his own accord. So he, so he's just now learning. A, well, he, he has said things. Like, he, he does understand that there is a feminine aspect there. But I, I don't think he knew, like, the full extent of it. But he can still, you can still connect and not know everything if you're being led by spirit. But... I would suggest that you subscribe to him right now. I'll put a link to his channel in the description box below because in this time space, and he's doing daily, sometimes more than one video per day like I am, like you want to be listening to as many people as you know are actually plugged into spirit to give you any kind of heads up that's coming. And given how instead of doing some big crazy like exposition on something her main focus tonight was how to get right with god i would say, i would think like something is imminent all those number codes that we saw were for 88 and watch his channel because he's looking at like stellar he's looking at some of the astrological aspects too and in his video early this morning he was, he was showing like, oh, this is where we're lined up with, and here's like series, and this is like the sickle part. I'm like, ooh, sickle, is what she immediately popped into my head. Was from the Gospel of Thomas, and it was like, when the harvest was ripe, he came quickly with the sickle and harvested it. Let those who have ears to hear understand, or something like that. Like that's what popped in my head. It was talking about a very quick harvest. So put this off at your own peril. Put it that way. And yeah, here's a little clip of what I'm talking about because I got to talking to him a little bit on his channel today. I want to share this channel I come across. It's called The Light. Okay, a wonderful brother. His videos are amazing. Okay, spirit is definitely communicating with him. I love the way um, his spirit guide, the angel, the Holy Spirit, is guiding him. Absolutely amazing. I get it. So it's nice to see these brothers and sisters now 
popping up all over the place. It's like uh, our channels are connecting. And so, yes, he mentions me in the channel. I'm not posting it because of that. I don't care about that. Okay, links to that are going to be in the description box below. That's all we got for right now. Chris and my better half, my right brain half, the good looking one, Loman. See you next time.